I'm not a huge social media person. I never had an Instagram or one that I really used actively, but I recognize how important of a tool it is in our modern time. Whether you use it as a tool for dating, showcasing your social life, or even growing a business, a good Instagram profile is truly an asset. You guys were also highly interested in seeing a video on how to make a high quality Instagram profile. Even though having a great Instagram is a huge asset, having a poor one can be a huge liability. As a general rule, it's better to have no IG than a poor IG. So what is a poor Instagram? Think dozens of bad selfies, a low res quality picture of your lunch, and a shot of you and your dorky friends drunk out of your minds. Now what makes a great Instagram? Now most guys get this part wrong. They think having a good Instagram is one that shows you partying with a ton of women, showing off Lambos, and basically looking like a ripoff Dan Bilzerian. But the real way to have a great Instagram is one that showcases your authentic self and life with high quality photos. And if you want a lot of followers, a niche or a skill. Like anything else, it takes a lot of effort to create a high quality Instagram page, but it definitely seems to be worth it. Here are the steps to making a high quality Instagram. Number one, a simple username that rolls off the tongue. Number two, at least four to five high quality photos. And number three, a niche. If you are interested in seeing how I'm going to apply all of these to my brand new Instagram page, make sure to follow it. Let's start with number one, a simple username. This is straightforward enough. You don't want a username that is hard to remember or type. Think of how you'd give this username to someone in person if they asked for it. Having a ton of characters would make it insanely difficult to remember. So having an easy to remember username is key. I went with On Point Res. It combines my brand with my nickname and is super easy to remember. Number two, high quality photos. You want at least four to five high quality photos. I chose this number because it's the perfect amount of photos that can showcase you, your personality, and your lifestyle. You really don't need a ton of photos as a guy and quality will always trump quantity. And remember, you can always take more in the future, but this is a good starting point. I'm terrible at taking photos so I needed ideas. I went over to my favorite website, Pinterest, to get some ideas on the type of photos I wanted to take. After finding a couple of different ideas, I settled on the following photos. One, a photo in a white button down. Two, a photo sitting down at a cafe or restaurant. Three, a standing photo at an art gallery or museum. Four, a photo of me at the gym. And five, a photo of me with friends or a loved one. All of these represent me and my lifestyle really well. Now, the hardest part of having an Instagram page is growing it. One of the best options if you want to grow your Instagram page is to have a niche and participate in that community. There are a ton of niches to choose from. Here's an example of two really well done Instagram pages in completely different niches. This very first page is very obviously geared towards an outdoorsy crowd. The photos are shot in high quality with a DSLR camera and the overall theme of the page is very carefully curated. This second page is a lot more general. It has outdoor pictures, outfit pictures, and a bunch of others but the niche is very much a lifestyle page. The very first page is hyper-focused on a specific niche, but the second one is a lot more general, yet still has a theme. These are two great examples of what I would consider 10 out of 10 Instagram pages. There are a ton of niches for you to explore depending on your hobbies and interests. Here are a few examples, fashion, fitness, cars, tattoos. Take relevant pictures and participate in those communities via hashtags, fan pages and reels, and you'll grow in no time.